welcome back to the Corporate Sustainability Education Channel, powered by the Southern Sustainability Partnership and available to you in both audio and video. Today we'll shine a spotlight on the many and varied solutions available for home, for beauty um, and for health um, in eco-sustainable shopping. And we're delighted to be joined by leading expert Jeanette Jones from the online shopping company Any Green Will Do. Now Jeanette's journey started a few years ago when she became a grandparent for the first time at the tender age of just 45 and asked herself the question, what will the planet look like when my granddaughter has grown up? And so a concern became a hobby, became a passion, and luckily for us, turned into a very successful business. And so we um, asked Jeanette along to share with us her top selling solutions, and we will invite her back because I'm sure we can't cover everything today. But welcome, Jeanette. We're delighted for you to join us today. Thank you very much. It was lovely to receive an invitation from you. So yes, thank you. I'm very much looking forward to it. Okay, so uh, we've asked you to come up with your best um, sellers at the moment. So let's kick off and see how far we get, Jeanette. Thank you. That's lovely. Um, the first thing I've actually put down here is just do one thing at a time. Just don't panic that you think, oh my God, I've got so much to do and I don't know where to start. Don't do it just do one thing at a time. And the best way I can suggest to do that is when you use up something at home, replace it with eco and just methodically go through. And after two or three months, you will have changed the majority of what you can do to an eco alternative. So don't think of the big picture, just think of doing one thing at a time. Don't get stressed out over it. No, it's not worth it. It's not good. So that's my first little tip. Right, plastic are the bane of the world at the moment. Um, and basically what I'm saying to people is that you can refill an awful lot of your bottles nowadays. Um, here, we've got a five litre refill that I, I have, and I, I just put it in my car and I go around to people's houses local to me in Southampton. But there are an awful lot of shops now which do a refill service and as well as it's saving plastic bottles it is also so much cheaper I mean one example um, there was a, a 300 ml bottle of hand wash which was four pounds refilled it was only one pound thirty so it's it's so it's, it's to me it's it's in, it's a really bizarre way of doing things because you don't you're not used to doing it but you can go into the shop and you can say or ask me and say i would like this i would like two pounds worth of this or can you fill the bottle up it doesn't matter because we have special scales and we can sort it all out so that is a great way to reduce plastic and save money at the same time so that's a, another good one i think of oh Going on from plastic bottle refills, please, please read the back of your washing up liquid bottle. Because you'll be surprised to read that some leading brands on the back of their labels do admit that their product is being harmful to aquatic life. I won't mention any brands, but please read the back of your label on the washing up liquid how on earth they can still get away with it. And add, don't, they don't hide it, it's on the back of the label, but nobody reads the back of the label. So little tip, please. Next time you do the washing up, turn the bottle around and just read the little, it's only, it's only the second line down. You don't have to read all of it. It's just, it's just there. Right, the, uh, another thing to um, help you find out what's good and what's not is an app called Think Dirty. Now this app, it's, it's a neutral, unbiased um, company. It's not run by pharmaceutical companies or anything like that. It is a neutral, unbiased company. And basically they score everyday products 
in a scale from zero, which is absolutely fantastic, eco-friendly, not tested on animals, up to eight or nine, which is not good at all and please avoid. Now, some of the things they take into account are chemicals that may be carcinogenic um, if they're tested on animals, on that sort of thing. So download it. You can scan a barcode or just type in the name of the brand um, that you're interested in. So that's another tool which can really help you. And you'll be su quite surprised because even some brands which are eco-named are not eco-friendly. So you, it's really, really worth just having a little nose and, and finding out about it. But going on to exciting products. Oh, excuse me, reaching over. This is hilarious. This is a magnet. Did you know that magnets are scientifically proven to reduce lime scale? There we go, nobody tells you about that. And, li and living in Southampton, it's a nightmare, absolute nightmare. So I've actually taken this out of my toilet system. I've got two of these in my toilet system, yeah. but you can also use them to put in your washing machine, um, to put in your dishwasher, because they're magnetic, magnetic, they will stick to the side of the drum. And they will last up to five years and they reduce the limescale build up. So you don't need to have to go and either have your washing machine repaired because it's damaged with limescale build up or use the, the harsh chemical alternatives to clean it or get somebody to call out. So that is an absolute brilliant, not many people know that. Now, this is my number one selling product. This is called the Eco Ball. And basically, this little box with this inside will do up to a thousand washes of your clothes. That's all you need, up to a thousand washes. Now, the way it works, um, this little gizmo is brilliant because it's actually, you unscrew it so it's not going to come apart in the washing machine. And what you do is you have a packet of these brown pellets. You take them out of the bag and stick them inside. And what they do is they de-stick you the dirt in your clothes, basically. And they stay in there all the time. You then add another packet of these white balls. And what they would do is they oxidise with the oxygen in the water, lift the de-sticky dirt and wash it away. That's all it does. That's all it needs to do. And it works. Now, the, I say that they reckon that that box will last out to a thousand washes. It's only £22, which is bonkers money. It's, you know, it, it doesn't have to be. This is another reason why I, I try and get people thinking about things, because my, my little motto is it doesn't cost the earth to save the earth. And this is a prime example that it's actually cheaper to do it this way than it is to go onto the high street and buy the brands, which you find more commonly on the high street. A couple of pointers, it's not to go in the tumble dryer because you'll melt it. Make sure you've cleaned your machine before you use it, because nowadays a lot of our cycles are 30 or 40 degrees, and that is not hot enough to dissolve powder and liquid, so they will stay in the pipes and get all bunged up. So if you turn it to an empty 90 degrees, yes, it'd be handy if you could have a, a washing machine cleaning tablet, but it, if you haven't got one or it's not a problem, and you will be amazed with that high temperature, how much is dislodged and how many bubbles and grots actually is in your washing machine because we don't do the high temperatures. And I recommend once a month, if you just do that once a month, that will just keep that being cleaned at the same time. The other little thing due to um, years of advertising and marketing is that we have been told that it has to smell clean. If it doesn't smell nice, it's not clean. It has to be lavender or jasmine or honeysuckle or whatever. No, clean does not smell. 
if you went up to the top of a mountain and sniffed, you wouldn't smell a thing. And that is the purest, cleanest air that you can see, find, smell, or not smell as the case may be. So it's very habit. It's all about habit and trying to change your habit because your mum's always done it or your partner's always done it. And you've always bought this brand and you've always shopped on a Tuesday evening. It's impossible, really, really difficult to change your habits. But give it a go, do one thing at a time. So the, the way I try and explain it to people without scare, scaring the Jesus out of them is if you're breathing in a smell, unless it is a natural essential oils, you've just got to imagine chemicals are being breathed in through your nose and killing a brain cell and going down to your lungs. It, it, it's, it's, it is basically as simple as that because you've got all these particles of all these chemicals which are in the, in the product and you're breathing them in. So they're just being absorbed into your body, which I really find quite scary. Now, if you do want your washing to smell clean, um, I use a lot of a company called BioD and they are absolutely fantastic. And they also do the refill bottles as well. And they do fabric conditioner. And if you want lavender or juniper, or they, they do them so you can add um, the smells to your washing, but it is a more eco-friendly scent smell use of it. And also all BioD products are, are concentrated. So if you've got a litre bottle, it's actually two litres worth. So you're saving plastic again. BioD's bottles are made from recycled plastic and they can be further recycled or refilled. So it's, it's, it's the best way that we can use what we've got at the moment. So another tip. Now, white vinegar, good old fashioned white vinegar. It's traditional, it's cheap, but it works. It can be used to remove lime scale, it can clean windows, it can clean kitchen surfaces, and it can even be used instead of fabric conditioner in your washing machine. So it will also help clean the inside of your washing machine. And don't, your, your clothes don't come out like a chippy. <laughs> you don't smell as if you've had a, a sudden portion on your fish and your chips, it's not. It, it's, um, by the time it's all been washed and everything, it doesn't smell it, but then you, you get the, um, the, the softness as if you'd have had a, a fabric conditioner. Now, I haven't got one with me today, but talking about the plastic, invest yourself in a drinks water bottle, which isn't plastic. You, they're readily available now. I mean, we sell them, which are, they're, they're thermal and they're insulated so they can keep hot hot and they can keep cold cold. Fill it up before you go out. So you don't buy a plastic bottle of water. Because the, the problem is with plastic bottles, you, you don't know how long the water's been in there for, you don't know how it's been stored, and also you've now got the problem of microplastics, and they are being released and are seeping into the water. So don't, for your health, for the plastic, don't do it. Just It's just one of these remembering things of put it by your handbag or your briefcase or whatever before you go out and just take it with you. It's, it's easy, and as the, the way it is, is it gets lighter as, the, as you get more tired because you're drinking more. So at least you know you're not gonna, you're not gonna have to carry the heavy bottle at the end of the day, you're gonna have drunk it all. So, you know, it's just it's another simple step. Yeah, now we have in this day and age, a lot of man-made materials, whether it's washing cloths, clothes, things in the bathroom it's sort of, and the, th the thing is with synthetics is they cause um, create microplastics whereas if something is natural it doesn't have microplastics in it and a couple of examples I've got here is a good old-fashioned cotton wash dishcloth for in the kitchen it's 100% cotton no microplastics and the other thing, which is always a talking point, is this thing. 
Now, this is a shower scrunchie. You, you know, you normally see them in the shops and they have a big plastic tub of them and they're pink and green and blue and yellow and everything. Mm. Now, this is actually a plant root. This is the made from the rami plant and the Egyptians used it in mummification. So I suddenly found out the ramification, the rami plant, I'm just not, I only just realized. But basically, so this is a natural product. So it is antibacterial, so it does not go black and slimy. And what you can do is you can wash it up to 40 degrees and clean it. And then once you've finished with it, stick it on the compost heap. No microplastics. And it scares me every time I see somebody buy one of those plastic things, because I'm thinking, you only use it once or twice, and then it's horrible, and oh, it's rammy, brilliant. It was good enough for the Egyptians, it's good enough for me. Yeah, and simple thing, keep a bag with you, in your handbag, in the car for when you go shopping. I don't need to buy carry bags, bags for life. Yes, they are bags for life, but 300 years later, they're still bags for life. It's, I mean, it's, I mean, my philosophy, I mean, they're talking about putting carry bags up to 10p each. I think, personally, they should put them up to a pound. If you had to pay a pound for a carry bag, you wouldn't buy it. Don't buy it. They last ever, ever. And they, oh, don't do it. Good old-fashioned string bag. Oh, yes, cotton. Infamous cotton. So I was talking about, um, actually, let's, let's do sanitary wear, first of all. Now, as females, everyone uses sanitary wear. Did you know the cotton plant is sprayed with 20% of the world's use of pesticides? It is also sprayed with 22% of the world's use of insecticides. No. On top of that, 20,000 litres of water is needed to produce one kilo of cotton. And one kilo of cotton is one t-shirt and a pair of jeans. 20,000 litres of water. So obviously there's not that amount in a sanitary wear, but Going back to the pesticides and insecticides, yes, cotton is then ma manufactured into things, but your skin absorbs up to 60% of whatever is touched. You imagine all those chemicals in sanitary wear. Awful, absolutely awful. We sell organic cotton sanitary wear, which doesn't have all the chemicals. But also, you, it, you nowadays you can buy washable ones and other types as well. So there are other options out there. Um, but another, by the by, a standard packet of sanitary towels has the equivalent plastic of four carrier bags. You wouldn't think that you'd have all that amount of plastic in sanitary wear. So again, it's. It very much all of this, it depends on if you don't know about it, you're just going to carry on. Unless somebody tells you, it's only as good as what you're told. So if you're not told about it, you don't know and you carry on using what you've always used. So it's just trying to make awareness of, of, of these things which are going on. Oh, <laughs> my next topic is the bathroom. I'm sure the bathroom is the worst room in the home for single-use plastic. Tube of toothpaste, single-use plastic. Bet you don't think about that every time you clean your teeth. Your deodorant, the little roll-on or the little spray, single-use plastic. Now, we do, now this is a tin of, this is my tin of deodorant. Now, when I first started a tin, using a tin of deodorant, I'm like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm just like, oh, I want my roller, I want my spray. And I'm thinking, well, why? Because all I do is I've 
rub my hands in in the in the in the solid, make it soften, and then put it on my armpit. What's so uh, about that? Because I've just had a shower because I'm clean. <laughs> it's, it's habit. But this is great because this can then be recycled and there's no plastic. Simple. The other thing with the bathroom is like um, toothpaste. These are tooth tablets. You can also get mouthwash tablets. Can I please mention mouthwash tablets you have to dissolve in water. Don't put the mouthwash tablets straight in your mouth because your mouth will be very, very <laughs> It has been done and we have had... <laughs> now, toothbrushes. Bamboo toothbrushes. We also do, I love these, these are beach. Now, the reason why I like these toothbrushes is that when you've finished with them, if you snap the head off, you can post it back to the company and they will recycle the heads. Oh, lovely. Which I think is absolutely brilliant. Now, I don't have a bamboo or a beach toothbrush because I've got an electric toothbrush. There is no point me throwing away an electric toothbrush, which will stay in landfill forever and ever and ever, just to swap to a bamboo one. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I still use my electric toothbrush. But I have found a company, we don't do them, but I have found a company online which sell recyclable tooth he heads for electric toothbrushes. So when my head needs replacing, I will then replace it with the, the recyclable version of it. So I think with all of this, it's like you don't have to do everything. What you've got to remember is doing something is better than doing nothing at all. And it's as simple as that. And if everybody just did something, make a difference. Oh, another quote which I found was, it's not changing the product, it's changing the quantity. Did you know if food waste was a country it would be the third biggest emitter of carbon just behind China and the US. That's so, that, so that is with us just piling too much on our plate and not eating it and then throwing it away. So even just planning your food, your meals, batch cooking, using what you can with the leftovers. If you've got a leftover, make a chilli the next day, don't throw it away. Um, which also brings me on to make room for a compost bin. Put your scraps, put your peelings, put your eggshells, put your tea bags. Some tea bags have plastic in them, just thought I'd mention that one. Mm. Plastic mm -hmm. gets everywhere. So get the compost and then next year you're gonna have a brilliant, brilliant compost to, in your garden. Absolutely brilliant, but that, is quite horrific um, for that. Now, bamboo, it, there's a lot of talk about bamboo these days, which is brilliant because bamboo is a grass and it grows yeah. really, really quickly. So using bamboo is brilliant because you're not chopping all the trees down. And we desperately, desperately need to plant trees because our climate is changing horrifically and it's the trees which is nature's way of trying to look after us and we just keep cutting it down. So bamboo. Now we sell quite a few products which are made out of bamboo. Obviously the obligatory socks. Now bamboo socks are naturally antibacterial. Um, they're great if you've got, um, if you're diabetic because it keeps your warm feet cool and your cool feet warm. Um, and they're really, really soft and dead comfy to wear. So bamboo socks is one good thing that we have. Another good thing is for us ladies primarily, reusable makeup wipes. So we, in this pack, we have four which are slightly tougher. So you can do mascara and stuff like this. And then you have another 12, which you can just use with water or your tonic or whatever you want to and then stick them in the wash so you can reuse them. So you don't have to, A, it's not cotton, which is going on with the pesticides and the insecticides going on, which worries me because you cleanse, you open your pores 
you tone with a cotton pad, so you've got open pores and you put all the chemicals in your face with the, do you know what I mean? It's, 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 it's quite scary. Bamboo ones, wash them, fantastic. And the other thing which always makes people laugh, well, I think it's brilliant. <laughs> this is mine, an unexcluding square bit of bamboo. This is kitchen roll. Oh. Okay, now bamboo is stronger and more absorbent than paper. So I use this to wipe up spills, mops, drops and whatever, I then put it in the washing machine. I can wash this up to 85 times. Yeah. And you think of all the, the, the amount that you need to slurp up a, a cup of coffee or a cup of tea, and then you pile it all in the bin, and then it just stays there and doesn't do very much very helpful. This, and what's lovely is they sell them in paper, so you don't even have the plastic wrapping on the kitchen roll it's brilliant so it's t this is 10 pounds a roll and it will last up to like a thousand uses or something so no 1700 uses and i had a customer the other day who bought one to replace the one she bought three years ago how much do you spend on you know spend on that um i think we're nearly getting to the end oh yeah simple things Plant tree, uh, plant native flowers, encourage insects, encourage bees and butterflies and bugs, because without the bees, we, we don't exist anyway. So encourage them. Um, and the last thing I've got as a, which I think is use products which can be recycled or reused in a different way. It's, um, I mean, obviously with Christmas coming up, with, don't buy sparkly wrapping paper because you can't recycle it. If you crunch wrapping paper and it stays crunched, you can't recycle it. Um, so what I've done is when I when I get my products delivered, they don't use bubble wrap, they screw up brown paper. So I'm always giving this brown paper away to people who, other colleagues of mine who have small businesses and they want wrap, uh, you know packaging. Or like with Christmas coming up, I'd let my granddaughter draw all over it and then we yeah. use it as wrapping paper. Brilliant. Personalised wrapping gift. Mm -hmm. And what we have just started using, selling, this brown tape is recyclable. Whereas normal brown tape isn't. And it's really sticky as well. So I can post on the outside, you know, outside wrapping as well as inside wrapping. And that's brilliant because then you can just roll up your, your Christmas Prezi paper, not worry about the tape on it and stick it all in the recycling bin. Absolutely brilliant. Fantastic. So that is a, a brief whizzy through of the top 20 tips of how easy it can be if you think about it and don't think of doing everything at once. It is just a habit changing thing. Yeah, that's a really good tip, I think, uh, with everything to do with changing your mindset and sustainability is to do it in steps. Never, nobody can do it all at once. And that's why it's good to invite you back so that you can share some more ideas with us. I've learned a lot. I uh, also am delighted with all the tips that you gave us. I mean, who would have thought? And I think the one thing that always resonates with me is that, um, you know, so often this is not just about you know, reducing and, and saving the planet, it also helps our pockets so much. And, um, you know, as a company, we find uh, that this is so much the case is think greener and save money. And, and who doesn't want to do that? So thank you so much for um, those insights, Jeanette. We really appreciate it. And as I say, we will be inviting you back. We will have a link to the Any Green Will Do website to the right of this video. I think also if we could uh, appeal to you to give us the link perhaps to the uh, changing the, the tops for the electric um, toothbrushes, if we could have that company yeah, as course. well, that link, that would I think that would be yeah. really useful. Uh, so yeah, suffice to say, thank you very much, Jeanette. We will see you again.
and uh, we'll see you in the next